Lucy struggled growing up in one of the countless tin shacks in Nairobi's sprawling Korogocho slum. By 16, she had turned to sex work, giving birth to three children over the years. When her sister died of AIDS, she took her son and another mouth to feed. Single mother. I'm a single mother with four kids. Before ethical fashion, I couldn't educate my kids, but now I can and provide for them anything they need. Ethical fashion for Ingiliakati. Lucy's work for the Ethical Fashion Initiative, first as a seamstress, now a supervisor, allowed her to see a new life for herself and her family. Ethical Fashion Africa is a not-for-profit group created by the International Trade Center, a joint effort by the UN and the World Trade Organization to empower marginalized people by linking them up with fashion houses and distributors. Trade, economic activities, markets can also be married with human development, with women economic empowerment, with poverty reduction. And this is what the fashion industry has understood. For the fashion designers that work in this project, this is an economic activity. It's about making money, about making profits, but you can also make profits in a social, sustainable way. The initiative has expanded from Kenya to Burkina Faso, Ghana and Haiti with plans for future expansion on the continent and in Asia. Hubs in Nairobi, Accra and Port-au-Prince receive commissions from designers, provide training and organize production of bags, jewelry and fabrics by the locals. We talk about responsible fashion as if it were a segment of fashion, but it is not. It's fashion. Fashion in a few years time is going to be like this. It's like the, the hybrid cars, it's like the electric, it's not the car of today, but it's the car of the future. By linking artisanal skills like sewing and bidding with top fashion houses, Ethical Fashion hopes to create products that are both beautiful and meaningful. Nolma Kugu, CCTV.